Hi, Jenna Apgar here. You'll have to excuse me. It's a little dark here as um, the day is winding down, but I do want to make this a consistent thing to get the reviews out. And um, I know a few of our Business Growth Network Insider members have already purchased this um, and then asked me afterwards, you know, hey, what does it do? Or, you know, it doesn't do this like this other program we got. Um, and so I wanted to definitely cover it. it cover it um, because I definitely see Relay that um, is a little different than say Canva or Snappa um, and some of the other tools that are out there. Um, but I did purchase it um, as soon as I read and watched the little video they had, the details um, with, um, and I'll point out a couple of the big details that got our attention. Um, but as you can see, this is, um, I believe, a lifetime license. Don't call me that. I want to check, but I believe it is. Um, it is $49, the expensive AppSumo deal. Um, but it's going to be for all those social media graphics, and I would argue graphics that you can use on your website too. Um, but they resize and they edit all the marketing images really fast. So Canva can do this to some extent. Snappa can always um, can do this as well. What these two programs do that's, um, as from at least what I've gathered from reading, that's very different is that there are very set templates. So normally when you resize um, from social media platform to different platform, different sizes inside Snappa, Canva, and these others, um, all your details, your boxes, your images, your fonts, not everything transfers over smoothly. Whereas Relay That, you cannot change and alter the templates as much, but then they perfectly align and change from format to format to format. It's predetermined. So um, let's go kind of through that. Um, basically, yes, it's hard when you have to redo every image for all of the platforms. Um, doing all the platforms is a lot. This is going to be for bigger brands. Um, I find that if you, you just shouldn't, as a social media person, if I'm telling a small business owner um, to do social media, I really don't want you doing every single social media at once. I want you to concentrate on the ones that are going to be the best for you. And so there's no need to have um, a LinkedIn image, a, a Facebook image, a Twitter sized image, a blog sized image, a Pinterest sized image, a everything sized image, just the ones you need. Um, but for one of those of you who are looking to build that larger, consistent brand with the same scent across all platforms and you are managing platforms or you're an agency where you're doing that for clients, I think Relay That has an incredible opportunity to do that for you. Um, let's see, that takes the guesswork out of design creation to deliver professional results with endless hours of tweak, without endless hours of tweaking. Um, and yeah, images can take a long time. So here you can see, here's the YouTube thumbnail. Let's see if I can make this bigger. Um, we have the Instagram one, the Facebook one, the LinkedIn one, but again, is, um, is that on there? Oh no, that's saying share. Um, these I find are very compatible. You can mix and match. The Pinterest one, which is really long. I will say this, I've been, I saw a couple images and I, ha I haven't tested it yet, but I want to. Um, on Facebook, at least on the personal page, you can now get these long images and it shows the whole thing. So you get more screen space, which I think is really cool and something to test out. Um, and then you have the, the long, thin Twitter. Google AdSense, so creating that banner, that's that's pretty cool right there. I like that. Um, it's not something you would do all the time, but I do, I'm digging that. To further enhance your designs, they have 350,000 photos, icons, and curated backgrounds. So this is a big reason um, I'm, I'm a big fan of like Snappa and Canva. You can do it um, and you pay for each one, but Snappa includes it. We actually use Vizme now. It was another AppSumo deal we got and they have all these backgrounds and icons. This is a huge thing for um, those of you who are not big into um, the, the graphic design. Here's the problem. Either A, you're stealing things off the internet, which were never meant to be stolen and some of these people do keep up with the images and they will send you a cease and desist and a bill, a freaking bill in the letter um, for how much you owe them for their artwork and they've got you. You didn't pay for it. It's not copyright free. Um, these are 100% copyright free images and for those of you who've had to pay for icons and pay for all the graphics and the images, um, you know it is not inexpensive like it starts to add up really quick especially when in one image you could have multiple um, images going on so 
This is 100% copyright free and that is a really big deal, guys. Um, if you go look at like Getty's Images and some of these other ones, um, 2020, they're expensive. Requires no design skills. We'll see. Most of them say that, but their templates are not so great and so you still have to apply some design. Um, so we'll check that out and we'll see if it, that's for real. Designers can keep all of their clients happy. This, this is what I'm looking at. When I sit at this image right here or this little video flipping, um, this excites me because we were looking at building um, a series of templates out for a specific industry. And if all we have to do is come in and build certain brands, this would make me the like most happy camper ever. Um, the Relay That Pro Plan. So actually, I'm going to scroll up a little bit and I'm going to click on their website. Let's open that up and um, let's go to pricing. Defeat design frustration. I like to compare what they're offering. So um, they have two plans, the standard, which will be $25 a month, $97 a month for the pro plan. Um, only five projects. This sounds like brands. Um, as an agency, I know we always go to the unlimited because we work with so many different companies building social media images that this is a big deal for us. Um, downloads unlimited. That's awesome. As you saw in the video one that we did the other day, um, whose name I already forgot, um, there was only 30 downloads. So this one is offering an absolute unlimited amount of downloads. They say they have one, I'm sorry, 2,000 smart layouts and everything else is included. So it's the same. So the big deal is just here is brands um, and agency owners, you know what that's like. So what are they offering? They are offering the pro plan. So that is this more expensive one, the agency, unlimited projects. Yay, it always makes me happy. That's what got me, that's why we bought it immediately. When we saw this image and how easy it was to change from um, company to company, um, and then combined with the unlimited projects, they had me at hello. It, it was over and done with. Unlimited image downloads, we talked about that. Smart layouts, and like these are the smart layouts, and so, one of our team members who um, is an account manager here and, and handles a lot of our social media was talking about how she wasn't able to customize any of the layouts. But that's the trick in this program is that it's not as highly customizable as far as where things go, but one click resize and it's already moved in all the right spots for you. And like I said, this is huge. The copyright free photos, I'm not sure how great they are, we'll see. Um, and we'll check that out. Lifetime, that's it, lifetime, not one year, but lifetime access for $49. Um, when they say let that sink in again, I want you to realize that this is a big deal. Um, I think of its own. Other pay tools, I for design. Y'all get to see all my notifications up here. I mean, these are pretty good layouts. Um, I don't, uh, that is one of the things I found that Snappa was missing, and even Vizme on their social media images is still missing is like the great layouts. All right, so let's check it out. So I've actually already purchased it. So we're gonna go back to the account. I'm wondering if I should just go straight to Chrome. I have been a horrible batting average um, for purchasing these and then having to need redemption, information, sign up, enjoy. It doesn't say I have to do Chrome, but we're going to try it out in Safari. Not a big fan when I have to move to Chrome, but it happens. Let's put our code in. I can like learn all my information here. Y'all email me. Know that it's my junk email. Sign in. And we go right in. Oh, we have some tutorials. Welcome. We know that you're excited to start, but it's important to tour show this, but this important tour shows how Relay that is different from other design tools. Awesome. I like a great tour. Project selector. We've loaded blank and default. So we're gonna click on default. We're on. Oh! Well, that's default. It's gray. And then sample. <gasps> Look how pretty it is. And it does everything. Look at all the ones change over here on the side. So it shows you what each one of the templates actually looks like with that brand color. Like, seriously, as an agency who does social media, freaking out. Um, we've loaded a blank default sample. Click 
the drop down menu to switch, you can edit, delete, or duplicate any project. This makes me happy. With the layout browser, I'm going to guess that's this part, and any sub menu selected. First of all, we're going to change because sample is so much prettier. Scroll up and down to view the smart thumbnails. Click on any layout to edit it. So I love it. Look, it already brings in the shoes, the images, the colors. So when you see these templates, you're actually seeing what you're going to get. So visually speaking, you already know what you're going to get. And so you can just, my, like, just I scan all of these. I love, I'm in love. And oh, you can heart them. You can heart your favorites. Um... I will look like a little piece of mail. Take your first step towards greatness. I like the, the back and forth with the, the colors for the text. It makes it look much more customized. The remix. Um, I really like this. Okay, there. So it takes a little moment to render. Um, let's say I want it. Boom. Does that change anything? No. I want to have to play with that one. Oh, it clicked it, but nothing altered. Border. Okay, I don't want to mess with anything. It's really pretty. One more step. Handle. Title. Ooh, it looks like it's ready to post. I'm not going to get ahead of myself. Project management. Click the plus sign in the project manager menu to create and name a blank project. So the plus sign name a blank project. Each project acts as a brand bucket to store assets unique to that project. New project name. So this one is going to be social test numero uno. Okay, so that did not add it. Oops. Let's go next. Oh, I added a new one. Oh, I'll, oh, okay, so I lost the pictures. That one was already done. So this would be starting from scratch. Add and update assets. To change text, colors, or photos, hover and click the middle area of the thumbnail box or text form, not the checkbox in the right sidebar. All changes automatically save in the preview window and the entire smart layout layer for your current project. So if I click here to upload, ooh, do I have a picture to upload? Um, I'm tempted to do my cute little girl, but let's pick client photo. That uploads John, our newest real estate client. Boom! All right, so some you can see his face, some not so much. To change colors, um, hover and click the middle area of the thumbnail box like this. <gasps> oh, that's special. What did I do? I feel like I've done something I'm not supposed to. I've got some pretty wicked image editors over here. Look how fun that is. Hello, Instagram. Oh, I don't even know what I did, but it makes me happy. How do I undo it? Um, okay, hover here, not that, oh, here's the title. Okay, it meant the, okay, it meant the thumbnails over here. Well, this is John. At handle, I don't think John has a Twitter handle. Well, maybe they do. Let's check it out. We're going to do it. Let's do it. Of course, I don't think their website actually says what any of their stuff is. Maybe they're, this is total tangent. I don't think it's interesting to see um, the total time it takes to create something when it includes everything. Is it here I found his? No, it's Connor. All right, we're gonna not do that. And we're just gonna go to source group. So, oops, let's the handles. Oops, oops. Sad baby. Um, I'm going to put a hex code. I can't remember his exact one off the top of my head. And I don't want to look it up. So we're going to use 
um, my gray. Oops. 21, 21, 21. Oops. I'm terrible at this. Okay, let's pick out a color we can see. How do I drag it? Okay, there we go. That worked a little better. That's a terrible color. Never use that like all by itself. All right, so part of it I just can't see because mm, pink. That's hot. I have a very eclectic color group here. Um, let's go back to these wide post, square post. Somewhere I got. Oh, okay, there we go. And then you can see all the colors start to populate. Um, very interesting. Okay, next. Asset visibility. Oh, I jumped ahead. Click on any of the checkboxes to hide or show objects. Okay, so you can click on these. Ah, that one's a cover. Oh, fun. So you can undo, like, I don't like the pink. Nice. It's a, for example, overlay is a color. Oh, oh, it's got words underneath. Border, overlay, stripe, and backdrop. Okay, that's nice. All right, layout categories. The layout browser selected. Navigate the various categories and click to update choices. Hover and click the heart icons. I don't actually hurt that one at all. Too colorful for my clients. Uh, da -da -da. Here we go. Resize Remix. Relay that is the only platform that empowers anyone to resize and remix professional designs in a single click. Some layout families have more options than others, but their library is always growing. All right, that is it. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Yay, because that thing was right over his face. That's actually a great example. Download and save. Click the download and save button. I like that you can choose over here in case I need a transparent PNG. I don't know why I would need PNG on this one. I wonder if I can get the search group. Click and download the save. So I've got it saved. I can see it hop down over here. Right here. My Pick up. Saved designs. Yay. Click to view, edit, and restore designs to default project area. So cool. We can click here and go back and edit. We encourage the new users to the, the learn and click the life preserve the life preserver icon. Awesome. To learn more new techniques, features, tips, you can restart this tutorial anytime. Your account menu dropbacks. Happy designing. Finish. I'm ecstatic. So like I said, I build a ton. So I'm thinking we could build like our own set of posts and then transform it and make one each for every client. Five minutes. Barbarians at the gate. Okay, so I have a preview button up here. That's different. So I think I went to something different. I thought it was here. Preview. I'm not sure what that is, but I kind of. It's like an advertisement. Hover. So when I hover, I don't get any information. That is creating a new post. This is, I'm going to guess, a duplicate. It is. Duplicate the project. Edit a project, right? Rename. Rename a project. And of course, the trash. Delete. And we're back to this. Okay. Um, oh, this is the editor, so I can add lots of different things. This is where you can add the logos, screen tall icon, icon 2, backdrop, 
Hashtag call to action. Okay, so this is kind of like um, your dashboard, if you will, for the post. So if you had to make several, you could choose all your border colors, overlay lines, buttons, backdrops, stripes, shapes, sections. Uh, let's see what else we have. Fonts. Upload new images. The save designs. Images you can get from them. It should be interesting. Let's see. Lawyer. Cool. These are pretty standard stock that I see across the different platforms like Snappa, Canva, and Vizme. Bringing in the lawyer stuff. Business. Cool. Like I said, great standard stock. It's not going to be anything ex you know exceptional, but it's good standard. Icons. Icons are fun. Um, emoji. Can I get an emoji icon? Is that? Oh my god, look how cute they are. I'm so happy. I got some resizing, remixing. Uh, we have square posts, wide posts. I like that it puts the dimensions up here and it also puts the little icons for the platforms that it will work on. Tall posts, blog posts, Facebook covers. Nice. YouTube thumbnails. Kind of want to pick on there and see what they have. Oh, that's fun. I don't quite see anyone that I would use yet. I just created a custom one in Vizme the other day. But I do like these for um, some of the other ones that we do that will not be the AppSumo ones. Um, how do I go back to here? Should I go back to here? Size. Hey guys. Okay, there we go. Wide banner. Twitter header. Nice. Does it show where your picture is? No. That's the nice thing about Snappa. Snappa tells you where your picture is going to get in the way. All right, come back here. Book cover, sweet. I'm guessing that is a standard, like the ones you get printed at Amazon. Pinterest board cover, very nice. Business card, LinkedIn profile cover. YouTube header, this is a big one. Let's. All right, guys, they could have done better than this. I'm not impressed. That's weak, very, very weak. They can work on that one. I'm not sure how to go back when I just click on that and wait. Okay, click on that one. I thought that was a tab to look down. YouTube header, LinkedIn company cover. This one, this is another tough one. Okay, this is pretty cool. They had some good ones with LinkedIn. LinkedIn's another hard one given where all the different objects are. I still think they can do better. This is the title. That's weird to click on that. I would have thought that's a drop down business. All right, now, guys, that's weak. I'm hoping they'll get more here. I would definitely want to see some more YouTube um, covers because that's another difficult one because it has, has to fit so many different screen sizes. But other than that, I mean, I'm, I mean this is just them starting out. I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm a happy camper. Um, especially when you compare the price points. I think we were paying $12 or $15 a month for Snappa and a yearly bulk. Um, Visme, I upgraded to a full account. And granted, I'm not getting rid of Visme. Um, it's still, ha you know, it's the customization that I can build a picture or my team can build a picture with quickly. Um, but I'm definitely, I'm excited about this. What's your, <laughs> design tweaker, keep tweaking, start seeking. Oh, this is clever. I just like how clever they were. So we have a lot of learning dashboards here. Uses right, some of the basics. I will definitely, I don't see anything about branding, uploading. I definitely want to create some comprehensive brands for each one of our clients so we can pump out images. Contact about brand assets. Ads. Oh, okay, these are more for like people sharing it like myself. Pricing company contact about resources. A simple idea with a big impact. Craig Carpenter. I recognize his face.
Is that his project was born? And career creating 3D animation and graphic design for major brands. I like it. Very impressed, Craig Carpenter. About brand resources. What kind of resources do they have? Brand colors. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Palette for Chrome. Hmm. These aren't his. These are just ones you can use. Okay. The brand colors, palette creators. You know, it's nice that he pulled some of his own favorites together. Um, I recognize some of these. Free stock photos. Always good to have a nice list of free stock photos, fonts and type. Big fan of just going with Google fonts. Pretty right all across the spectrum there. All right, I like this. This seems fairly simple enough. Um, the user interface, I mean, I find this to be incredible. Yeah, Craig Carpenter, bravo. You, Somebody, one of your coders, or you spent a lot of time making sure this was very user-friendly. It does lack cost customization. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to move this over any. Um, but the customization is there to streamline projects. And if you're an agency, you understand that streamlining some of your Stuff is the way to go. I'm I like this, and I can see us building a lot of um, stock social images by industry in here, um, and then being able to simply go from brand to brand and change it. Um, I'll play with that more later. We might do another um, for my own team. I'll do a tutorial for that. But I really like this. If you get a chance. Um, definitely go over, um, it's on AppSumo, we'll go back there and find it, Rocketium, that's the video one I was trying to remember, um, this lifetime access to relay that, so definitely, I don't know what the um, schedule is on that, but it will tell you how much time, it just says limited time right now, um, but I definitely recommend the relay that, especially if you are in any kind of social media, if you're managing multiple blogs or multiple brands whatsoever, this this has a lot of power. Um, thank you for tolerating me in the dark and my screaming children at the Barbarians at the Gate. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the YouTube comments and me or one of my team will get to those um, as soon as possible. Again, I'm so dark. Um, if you could do me a big favor, if you could subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, so that we can kind of build our subscriber list back up after some of the YouTube changes. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions at all, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want some of the templates um, that we discussed, we have those over in the Business Growth Network. And if you're looking for someone to do your social, um, that I can do very easily with my little bulls. Um, my name is Jenna Apgar with Warfare Marketing and Business Growth Network. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'd love to help you out with them. Go get this AppSumo deal, though. It's not going to be there forever. Bye.